I'll be doing tips you should know when you're living alone. Because if an apartment in 2023 is not investing in better blinds, run. You heard it here first. Don't shoot the messenger. You can take this advice anywhere. In Houston, in LA, in Atlanta, in Florida, period. Period. More you and less of me. I don't even know why you keep blessing me. I'm just trying to be a better me. What's up everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayana Marie. For those of you guys who don't know and for everyone that's returning, well what? You already know the vibes. But since it's been one year since I saw you guys, and the last time that I saw you guys, I had moved into my very first apartment in Houston that I've ever had by myself. I kind of just left you guys hanging. Like I didn't follow up with the questions that you guys had. I thought I would come back and give you guys tips on not to make when moving in Houston. Tips I feel like every woman should know when moving to their very first apartment, okay? These are things that I learned moving and I hope that you guys will not make the same mistakes. Let's get into this video, why don't we go look up your sex offender database registry in your state city like expeditiously um there is a way that you can go to google search up sex offenders in your neighborhood type in your zip code and it'll pull up to every sex offender that lives in your apartment complex or in your neighborhood and that's really great to know especially if you have kids i just would highly recommend You may already know this. Take pictures and videos before and after of how your apartment looks and the condition that it was in. I know they give you guys a little a slip to fill out to document anything that's broken, chipped, whatever, whatever, and you turn it into leasing office, but I always say to your before and after pictures. Blinds. My last apartment that I showed you guys, remember they were white blinds that are long and vertical. I would not recommend you pick an apartment that has those blinds. Stay far away from those blinds. They break easily. They're always falling. Um, very cheap. And I feel like it's a clear indication of the type of experience you're going to have in that apartment. I don't care. I don't care what nobody say. Because if an apartment in 2023 is not investing in better blinds, run. That's going to tell you everything you need to know right there. Because everything else around your apartment is going to start breaking and falling just as easily. You heard it here first. Don't shoot the messenger. I, I guess this is more so geared for women, but if you're a woman, a young woman, and you're living alone, I would highly recommend that you stay away from the, the first floor. Especially if you have a balcony. I think that was like one of the biggest things that I wish I hadn't done the last time. Now, if you would have asked me this last year, I would have said, yeah, pick first floor. Like, it's easy access when you're transporting furniture, this, that, and the third. But being that I've lived on the first floor, I just feel like it's not safe, especially as a woman. You know, robbers, kidnappers, traffickers, um, they they won't be able to just like break a window to get to your your items or just like to access you. You won't. They won't have that easy access. You get what I'm saying? And you won't have people knocking on your windows if you don't want them knocking on your windows. Period. To piggyback off of that. Invest in a ring camera cameras invest in it. I saw this viral video where this girl literally was able to identify capture a Video of two men outside of her door that was plotting on her waiting for her to come out And then I saw another video where a ring camera caught like these elderly people getting robbed and had suspects on camera clear Clear picture. Never get in a, a bathroom that's connected to your room unless it's like a far distance between like the toilet in your room or unless your room is like really ventilated because having a bathroom so close to my room and it being poorly ventilated was absolutely hell in my last apartment. I just would not recommend that. And if it is connected to your room, just Get up, make sure it's it's far away from the bed or like there's really great ventilation like there's a distance okay because some apartments do have like the bathroom connected to the room but it's like a hall or it's like a long walkway to the toilet like it's far so create the distance okay. i would advise you to get a washer and dryer in your unit remember last year when i was saying oh no i don't really need a washer and dryer what who was i kidding that was it was so annoying 
having to go to like the community washer and dryer because there was only like four or five of them in there and then everyone wants to clean their house on Sundays and so they'd be packed, sometimes not working, sometimes the machine's just dirty, like people before you wash their dogs, ugh, I don't even want to get into it. Make sure you got a washer and dryer in the unit, like please, if you can get it, get that. You need that sis. You probably already know that, you probably don't even know why I didn't get it but the more you know, right? I would highly recommend that you just scope out the neighborhood and make sure that there's no school zones, okay? Because living in a school zone area where it, when you go to work early in the morning is absolutely, it's just not it, okay? You, you have parents taking up two, all, both lanes, lifeguard blowing her whistle, kids running across the street, avoid the school zones. Just don't live by a school zone. And if you do live by a school zone, make sure it's far away school type thing, you know what I mean? Like, a couple lights up. Not like, boom, you you drive out of your apartment and boom, you're bombarded with kids and back. It's just a lot of traffic and it's so annoying, especially when you got places to go, people to see, and a person to be. You don't got time for the traffic. Make sure that your apartment has really great sunlight. Research has shown time and time again that exposure to sunlight um, increases your mood. It elevates your mood. People who live with live in environments, state cities, where there's a lot of sunlight tend to be happier. That's just research, that's what the studies say. And I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you move into an apartment that either has a lot of sunlight or has a balcony where you can go out and get sunlight, okay? Because like you wake up, the sun's like waking you up, like it's amazing. You know, we wanna get those good hormones those endorphins, that dopamine, you know, going and flowing. And sunlight does a really great job of that. Contrary to popular belief, contrary to my belief that I had literally last year, you can't always believe the reviews, sis. Sometimes you have to experience some things on your own. Like, do not always go by what Google Yelp reviews say. I mean, a lot of times it is valid, but not all the time. So sometimes you just have to experience it and don't be afraid to take that chance and experience living at an apartment despite what the reviews say. Because for me, the reviews kind of scared me um, from moving into the apartment that I live in now, but I'm so happy I did not listen. As of now, I've been here for one okay. month. I found this on the web for experience living in apartment because for me, reviews kind of scared me. Check it out. That was weird. Kind of scared me. Oh, not Alexa listening to our business. Girl. Alexa, mind your business. Um, mm, I don't know that one. Get in here, sis, because the tea is real hot and the information don't stop. Look at the bottom of my video. Click the join to get exclusive information, answers you're dying to know, or just the inside scoop about information you need to know. That's right, only within here you'll find those gems. Now everyone else will still get great content from me, myself, and I, but all of the nitty gritty, like the good stuff that you're gonna wanna know is gonna be found once you press join. So go ahead and sign up. Family, you already know the vibes. Get in here, don't miss out. I'm about to put you guys on to split your monthly rent into two installments. This is perfect for college students. This is perfect for those who maybe you're just not making the income that you'd like. See if your apartment offers so you can split your apartment into two installments. It's been extremely helpful for myself if times got hard or I couldn't put in 40 hours a week because I'm in college and I'm also a full-time college student for whatever reason. It's been extremely helpful it's been amazing, life-changing. See if your apartment offers it, and if they don't, there is a way that they can if the management like emails in. But boom, I just dropped, I just saved somebody's life. Um, no, but seriously, get into it, get into it. So coming in at number one, we gotta start this thing off hot, okay? The information ain't gonna stop. Um, it's going to be this resource that I'm talking about. I'm alluding to it, but to get that real specific resource so that you know where to go after this video, you got to press join because it's not for members only. It's for family, okay? Family only, members only type vibes. But I hope to see y'all there. I love you guys. Mean it. Mwah. Do it. These are tips that are going to change your life. These are tips that changed my life. These are things that I wish I'd known. And... These are things I'm so glad that you now know. And if this video is any value, if it added any sort of value to your life, I would love to hear what you got to say. I would love to 
to hear what the streets is saying. Speak up. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun. Uh, speak up. Okay, these are things that I learned moving, and I hope that you guys will not make the same mistakes. So yeah, those are all my tips. The more you know, the more you grow, the more you flow. Whoa. So I'm so glad you guys tapped in. Again, my name is Keanu Marie. I inspire and I impact people in everything that they do. Do it for the kingdom and not the culture. Okay? Daughter of the king, signing out. Bam. As always, I appreciate you for taking time out of your day to watch my content, to interact with my content. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys very soon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah! Change me on the inside. I choose you.